Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Shama Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm pleased to be joined in the studio today by Doug Jo, who is the Director of Spectrum Policy and Regulatory Affairs for the ZTE Corporation. And he's also a APT coordinator on Agenda Item 1.14, which uh, deals with HAPS high altitude uh, platform stations. Mr. Jo, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. And it's a really a good honor to be interviewed. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about the importance of this event. WRC 19 is an event that happens once every uh, four years or so. I just wanted to find out uh, why is this event important to you and uh, what are the, some of the topics here being discussed are vital for your industry? Yes, um, actually, ZTE is a global leader in telecommunication and information technology. And our value is uh, innovative technology driven the world. So, uh, as a chief representative of ZTE Corporation and also a member of Chinese delegation. And I think the World Radio Communication Conference is for sure the most important event for the whole ICT industry and uh, for forming the bright future for human beings. Yes, and uh, I think the, the main objective of the, this WRC uh, is to revise the ITU radio regulation, uh, which is an international treaty uh, defining the technical and the regulatory provisions for all radio communication services. Uh, that is to how to balance the demands of different uh, radio communication services that require frequency spectrum and satellite orbits. And this is also to enable the rational, uh, efficient and economic use of these limited resources. And uh, in addition to that, I think this is also uh, could facilitate the progress of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal. And uh, uh, you know that uh, ZTE as a global, as a United Nations Global Compact member, our vision and uh, our mission are fully in line with these objectives. So what are the main areas of focus for ZTE here at WRC19? Uh, here I have three tasks. One is uh, Agenda Item 1.13, the IMT Spectrum Identification. And the second one is, uh, as an APT coordinator, I'm responsible for the 1.14 hypes. And another one I think very important is Agenda Item 10, new Agenda Item for the future WRC. What does uh, being an APT coordinator entail? That's the Asia-Pacific uh, telecommunity. As an APT coordinator of this Agenda Item, my role is to push forward and to cooperate with the APT member administrations to, co to come up with a common view possible as the APT common proposal to this WRC. So, yeah, this is my main task on this uh, job. Let's talk a little bit about ZTE. What are its main areas uh, of focus? Yes, ZTE as a global uh, leader in telecommunication infrastructure and uh, telecommunication uh, technology, our main focus is to provide our services uh, to the worldwide. Yeah, this is our main task. You mentioned that HAPS is an area of interest uh, to, to ZTE. Perhaps we could talk a little bit about uh, HAPS high altitude platform stations. What exactly, for the general public here, what exactly are they? Yes, HAPS is stand, stands for high altitude platform station. That, uh, according to the latest investigation, that uh, uh, nearly half of the world population is not connected to the internet yet. So HAPS has the potential to provide the broadband uh, infrastructure to this uh, underserved area and other uh, remote area and rural area. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. And uh, we look forward to uh, hearing more again from you, perhaps, uh, at another conference uh, in the near future. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, thank it's you, a great Mr. honor. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.